Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro and in this video I'm going to show you how to adjust your memory settings for Minecraft uh, to get you know the best use of it, especially when playing mod packs. These modern mod packs you definitely have to adjust your memory because you have to use quite a bit and some of them require up to around 8 gigs. So, you know, if you don't have at least 16 gigs or more on your computer, which is actually not that uncommon these, unda these days, uh, RAM's not that expensive, uh, then you'll need at least that to play your packs. But I'm going to show you how to do it now. First of all, you need to determine uh, if your operating system is 64-bit. All right, that, that's very important. Because if you have a 64-bit operating system, then you can assign, you can have 64-bit applications, uh, which uh, Java and Minecraft are. And you could assign up to 16 terabytes of memory. That's thousands of gigs. And uh, you, you don't need it, but you can up to that. However, if you just have a 32-bit operating system, then you can only assign 2 gigs to a 32-bit one. If you have a 64-bit OS, then you could assign up to 4 gigs So, if for a 32-bit process. But it, you wouldn't be running many 32-bit processes on a 64-bit machine. Most things have been updated these days. Okay, so you need to know that. And um, in many uh, operating systems, you may not have the 64-bit Java default on your machine uh, installed. Uh, like any modern Mac is going to be a 64-bit OS, but it wouldn't have the 64-bit Java. You would need to install that. And then Windows, it just depends on the manufacturer, what you've got. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download uh, the version of Java you need, whether that's 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, and you need to do that accordingly okay so let's look at how to assign the Java so we'll do it in twitch you go under settings and you want to go to Minecraft here and then uh, it, there's going to be a option here for Java version so there's gonna be a drop down and you can see if it's a 64 bit by looking at the list it'll say you know Java this 1.0 1.8.0191 okay and the always latest version can do it if now Mac comes default with Java 1.6. So as I said, you're going to need to install a 1.8. Then you're going to need to browse for it. This is a refresh button that'll let you uh, choose different versions according to your operating system if you've updated. Okay. Now on the Windows side, basically it's very similar. You go to Twitch and you look at your um, settings here. Okay. Uh, under file settings okay and you can go to minecraft and then you could see what your java version is uh, here it always latest version click it and it'll tell you what version's the latest okay for that so you can definitely keep that going now um how to tell how much memory you have and how much memory you can allow okay so on mac you basically go up to the menu here and you get about this mac and it'll tell you the window open and it'll tell you how much memory you have i have 16 gigs on here okay so that'll show you there on windows you go uh we're going to just go to task manager for instance so you can just type task manager do control alt delete and you want to go under um your option wait view i mean oh, i'm sorry gosh sorry performance and then you want to go to the memory tab and it'll tell you how much memory you have eight gig so you really don't want to assign much more than half of that amount of memory uh, to minecraft so that you have enough overhead for the operating system and background processes and stuff to run also on windows you could tell if you have a 64-bit operating system by uh, on windows 10 going to this pc and getting properties and i'll tell you right here it'll also tell you installed memory there so system type 64-bit operating system right there it'll tell you if it is uh, on older operating systems for windows you can get um, uh, my computer would we'll do that right click and get properties on my computer okay so once you've known that um, you've got 64 bit and what have and that so you can exceed two gigs then you can worry about setting your memory settings okay so here in the twitch launcher if you go down under the java settings there's going to be a maximum memory allocation okay and this is the max memory that's going to be uh, assigned to your minecraft and here i've got uh, four gigs basically so half of my memory on minecraft um, and because we're doing mod packs and such in here 
then you know you'll need to watch that now the heavy newer mod packs i can't really run on this machine i mean that's just that's the facts of life i've got eight gigs can't really run sev tech and stuff like that all right uh now another thing that would adjust how much memory you're going to use besides mod packs and stuff is if you're using hd textures like you know 512 uh resolution texture you know 512 pics texture all right that's the thing now basically that assigns it and then you set it now it there's jvm arguments that can get assigned as well so like if you go and you launch a, a profile let's let's just show you in mac that if i go here and i make my setting it's basically the same set it in the middle in the mac i've got a little bit more now you can sign assign too much to minecraft um more than is needed but it dynamically adjusts so uh, it'll just set what you go what you need for the particular uh version that you're running so go ahead and set your max to in the recommended range all right so here's the area for the jvm arguments and you can adjust them a bit all right but when you go through and you launch a mod pack all right i'll show you where the jvm arguments go because it doesn't really do you any good in your jvm arguments to set memory inside of there okay and it's the jvm arguments you'll notice more in the minecraft launcher because it's actually one of the harder ones because it uses those like the only way to set it okay, instead of sliders or gooey or anything but here's your jvm arguments here and you can see that twitch adds xmx which is the max memory basically and it set it to that six gigs that i have and then it has the minimum memory the smallest size x smallest that's uh, 256 okay so it it ranges between those two and it'll adjust according to what you do and, I, and i'll show you in game you know what what that means all right but basically that's how you set it in twitch and it's pretty simple to do because it gives you a gooey slider to do it now let's look at multi mc so oh i also do want to mention before we go on twitch that inside a specific profile you've got that global setting you did in settings but you can adjust it in a profile as well so under memory settings if you disable the use system setting use system setting means use what you've set in the settings there um, then you can override it for the mod pack so if you have enough memory and you want to you know give sevtech eight gigs or whatever you can do that um, now most mod packs will recommend how much memory they need so you can uh, plan accordingly for that but you can override it or if you're you know doing a certain mod pack and you want high resolution textures or stuff you can adjust it there so you can override the setting there normally you really won't need to okay but that is something you could do all right now looking at multi mc again there's two areas there's a global and then per profile so you go to the settings area get it from the toolbar at the top there and then you want to go under your java area okay and then it has the minimum memory allocation and maximum memory allocation so again i've got this set to half of the amount of ram on the machine and you can set it set it how you want the, these will go up and down or you know you can type it in there okay so just set it up there and leave the minimum as it is perm gen you don't really need to worry about in java 8. now to get your java set up in multi mc uh it's got it defined here but you want to click this auto detect button okay and a window will pop up and it'll show you the various versions of java that it finds on your system and normally you'll want to select the top one but here you can tell if it's 64 bit by it having 64 at the end of it okay so you could just assign it that way uh, and if for some reason you needed like to run older versions or something like that you can actually change it per profile because that's uh also in per profile so let's look at it if i go into an edit instance here this is a multi mc instance and i go to my settings then i've got my memory area here now by default it's deselected because it's using the system settings and that's the same thing with the java installation you could change it there or i could add java arguments per uh, each one okay per each instance or i could have those global ones as well in the settings uh, under the java area it's a smaller smaller little field but it's it's there it's the same okay so that's how you do it in multi mc and it's the exact same on mac uh in multi mc uh, these are all pretty much cross-platform applications and they try to mimic 
and act the same across operating system so there we go now the java pass a little bit longer and stuff uh, but you can still like i said do auto detect it'll go through it takes a little bit longer in the list but it'll find which versions are available and then tell you which one's assigned and all that kind of stuff you can grab it uh java arguments there so that's the global area again on mac i have it a little bit more and then you right click and you choose edit instance and you can get under the settings the area for the memory for your java installation and for your java arguments there okay very very nice so let's look then at uh the minecraft launcher okay so we'll go to the launcher here and it assigns it per profile unfortunately there is no global setting that is unfortunate really uh, but it kind of has the its defaults kind of worked out and it does it by jvm arguments so depending upon what profiles you have installed let's see i'll go down to a, like a 113 profile somewhere if i got i got one right uh, 1.13 one's fine um then under here you're going to have a it's deselected by default but you're going to have an area for jvm arguments okay now in it it only has the back setting and you could add the in the min if you wanted you know x m s and then a number uh, no not really needed that just basically means that it's going to use a, a small minimum and then go up to this number which is two gigs so g is gigs and two is the amount so you could set that to four gigs if you wanted to like that now like i said it's dynamically assigned but you know you don't need really need to assign more memory than you necessarily need so for vanilla minecraft even in the newest versions two gigs is pretty good you, you'd be okay with that um until you start using high resolution uh resource packs if you use high resolution resource packs then again that can up your memory usage and maybe i'll do a video comparing uh, that type of stuff let me know in the comments if you want to um but that's how you do it in the twitch launcher and you have to do it for each single profile or not in the twitch launcher in the minecraft one so same on windows exactly the same uh, that's the mac side yeah so let it launch and we'll go and look just at some profiles your launch options so just select like an older profile like 1.6.4 select your jvm arguments and then make your setting there okay so like i said you, you could see it when it does the launch like we showed in twitch so guys that's basically it that's how you set up your memory that's how you see if you have 64-bit java again i will leave a link in the description for the java ins installation page uh the windows offline is probably the best way to do it for windows um and guys that will give you full control over the memory for your minecraft and like i said for my packs that you're playing just read in their description and see what their recommended memory is that that's the best way to do it anyways scott old thanks so much for watching guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one bye bye